In chapter four, we learned about elements. Now, in chapter five, we're gonna start combining those elements into different compounds and molecules. We're gonna look at how they are represented using chemical formulas, and then how we can classify different matter based on if it is a pure substance or a mixture. And we're gonna look at uh, the mixture that is our atmosphere, and we're gonna look at the different layers in the Earth's atmosphere. We're gonna look at valence electrons that will help us determine different bond types in an atom and what they'll form, if it'll be covalent or ionic. We'll talk about a full octet because when we're forming these, bonds, our goal is to get a full octet in either case. So let's get started. Let's look at compounds and molecules. So in the past chapter, we talked about elements. We represent elements with their symbol. So if we have just an atom, we can represent it in this case. We have neon, N-E. We know it's just one atom because it's a capital N lowercase e. So it is just that element by itself. When we start representing molecules, we add a subscript to show that we have more than one element combined. So from our representation as a picture, picture we know that it's a molecule because the two spheres are touching each other. When we write it as the chemical formula, we put a subscript to denote that there are two uh, nitrogens that are attached to each other. Remember a molecule is more than one atom or element attached to each other. When we look at a compound, now it's more than one different atom or element attached to each other. So here we have a molecule and a compound, both of those definitions apply to CO2, one carbon and two oxygen. The oxygen are in red, the carbon is black. So when we see this, we know one carbon, two oxygen, and we write it as our chemical formula, CO2. So what would our formula be? And what would be the best way to describe the drawing that is here. Well, colors help us to identify the different elements when we see them in this space filling representation. So black represents carbon, red represents oxygen, as we saw on the last slide. Nitrogen is blue, hydrogen tends to be white. So this would be CO, two different elements that are attached to each other. So this would be a compound and a molecule. It's comprised of two different atoms. For each of the chemicals formulas below, indicate how many of each element is present. So in our example of carbon monoxide, we had one atom of carbon, one atom of oxygen. If we look at our example of octane, we have eight carbons and we have 16 hydrogens. We know this because of the subscripts. They tell us how many of each element are present. Pause the video, see if you can determine the amount of each element in the other three examples. Well, in KOH, we have one potassium, we have one oxygen and one hydrogen. When there is no subscript written, we assume that it's one. In H2S, we would have 
two hydrogens and one sulfur. For magnesium bromide, we would have one magnesium and two bromide. We're told this by our subscript. Let's add one more additional piece of information for chemical formulas. Sometimes you will see parentheses. When the parentheses are used, that means that we have to apply the number outside to all the elements on the inside. And we do this by multiplying. So for magnesium hydroxide, with our subscript on the outside of the parentheses, it says we have one magnesium. We distribute that subscript. So we would have two oxygen and two hydrogen. See if you can determine the number of each element present. Pause the video. For the number of copper, we would have one copper. We would distribute the two to the inside. So we would have two nitrogen and we would have six oxygen in our formula. For our next example, barium phosphate, we would have three barium. And again, we have to distribute the subscript in. So we would have two phosphorus and a total of eight oxygen. Hg is mercury. We would have three mercury. Again, we distribute. So we would have two arsenic and eight oxygen. We'd have one iron, two nitrogen, eight hydrogen, two sulfur, and eight oxygen for our different chemical formulas.